When someone says 4K gaming to you, do you think that this is the latest cutting edge technology or do you think this is a bit more yesterday's fish and chips? Because in my eyes, I'd say that both are correct. Yes, 4K is nothing new, but being able to play your games at 4K with a minimum of 60 frames a second certainly is. All thanks to the new cards from Nvidia and AMD, in addition to the brand spanking new consoles from both Sony and Microsoft. It's very interesting then that we now have this very little smart display appearing in the studio. A review sample of LG's 144Hz 4K IPS gaming monitor. It is absolutely packed with features and dare I say it's pretty sharp. Yeah, sharp pixels, yeah. And actually it is available for a very affordable price. Yet yeah, despite all of this, it is actually a little bit of a toughie to recommend. Let me explain. Before we begin though, are you ready for some epic brand new PC gaming goodies? Acer's global press conference is this Wednesday, and I've been tipped off about some huge announcements. All I can say is that if you want to go fast and get the most out of your PC gaming battle station, this is a press conference you simply won't want to miss. Set a reminder to watch along with me and my epic commentary live, or check out all of the announced products if you're watching this after the fact with that link down below. LG's GN 950 then, let's start very simply. If you want one of the best looking monitors on the market right now, then this certainly has you covered. Forget about all of the other factors for a second, and let's just appreciate that 4K resolution paired with a highly accurate IPS panel looks absolutely stunning. 98% of DCI's P3 color space is covered here on its factory calibrated panel, and the richness and vibrancy is just splendid. Plop your face as close to the screen as you like, Spotting individual pixels is nigh on impossible, with an almost window-like appearance that makes content hugely impressive, even if you compare it to 1440p. And usually with this sort of panel, I'd now give you a long list of reasons why it's not at all suitable for gaming. But no, make no mistake, this is a monitor that is designed for gaming. This is a gaming monitor, and it's hugely impressive. LG has their one millisecond IPS magic to thank for this. And while you might not actually be getting that figure, Fast moving motion is still handled with grace, and any blur that you do get is smooth and then relatively trail free. Look at a VA panel like the 200Hz PG35VQ, and it just doesn't compare well, even with a much higher price tag and even faster refresh rates. And then of course there's the other headline feature here, 144 frames a second at freaking 4K. And I know what you're thinking, haven't we heard this before? There are 4K 144Hz monitors a couple of years ago, once again PC centric old news get with the times. But no, actually you'd be wrong on this one. Because you see, both the Acer Predator X27 and ROG PG27UQ did indeed have this very spec, but they were limited by the bandwidth of DisplayPort 1.4, which left their true refresh rates to 98Hz in HDR mode, whereas the LG uses DSC or DisplayStream compression. And this very clever technology essentially enables you to get more out of the same pipeline, as it compresses it on the PC side and then the monitor does the decoding, and you won't notice any extra latency, you won't notice any reduction in image quality, it just allows you to essentially get the most out of your display without having to worry about color subsampling or any of those horrible nasties. There's absolutely nothing for you to turn on, so as long as you have a compatible graphics card, which will have to be quite recent, it'll take care of absolutely everything for you, leaving you to enjoy that silky smooth 144Hz gaming bliss. Oh, and don't worry if you aren't quite getting 144Hz, this monitor also packs in G-Sync compatibility and AMD FreeSync Premium Pro. It works rather well, synchronizing the refresh rate to your in-game FPS and thus reduces stutter and tearing in your games. Just be aware that it isn't a miracle worker, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, and any sudden jolts or drops will still be noticeable, and actually on my display I did notice a tiny bit of tearing in certain games at certain refresh rates. So, okay then, here's your lowdown. If you're watching this video and you're seriously considering this monitor, here's what I would say to you. If you're after 4K resolution, then this makes so much sense because it's gonna be great for productivity, it's brilliant for gaming, regardless of whether it's Age of Empires or whether it's Apex Legends, it can handle everything and unlike so many different 4K monitors, 
It does so without many compromises. Like, this is definitely a gaming monitor, and as we've said before, the price on this is actually fairly reasonable. It's not cheap, but you compare it to something like the PG27UQ, and it's pretty much half the price, if not slightly less. Yet, despite all of those things, I do still have a little bit of trouble recommending it. And this isn't because it's not suitable for things other than gaming, so whether it's work or media, it's quite the opposite in fact there, it's great. But just because it doesn't really make that much sense for the most gamery of gamers. If you want to have a general purpose PC that you are going to use for your daily work, watching UHD videos, crazy high-end 4K gaming, then I, this is for you. But for everyone else, it's just not really the right call. And let's start with the wow factor, because you either have it, or you don't. And this, eh. It's almost as if LG know this, as they've rather conveniently put some fancy strobing backlights that will match your gaming visuals or your audio to whatever you've got on screen as you play. But other than that, it is just a 27 inch 16x9 monitor. And to be clear, I'm not knocking that, there's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, I have a friend that I've actually actively recommended this monitor to, because he has two screens once, you know, two 27 inch monitors. Anyway, point being, there's nothing wrong with a 16x9 monitor if that's what you want. But at this sort of money, there are a lot of other options you could go for. 4K resolution in particular, I'd say, is screaming out for a larger screen, so 32 inch would have been perfect. But at this money, you can actually get a 144Hz ultrawide, and I've even seen a super ultrawide for very similar money. Definitely something to consider. And while the price of this itself, I'd argue, is pretty reasonable for a 4K gaming monitor, you also need to factor in your RTX 30 series or RX 6000 graphics card, which definitely puts this way up there in the premium gaming camp. Of course, you could make this a little bit affordable with a next generation console, which are covered here thankfully, as there are two HDMI ports, but sadly these are HDMI 2.0, limited to 60Hz, so there's no 4K 120Hz gaming on the cheap either. But let's forget all of that, because I think you can see at this point that there are actually a lot of reasons you would want to go for that. So you want 4K, this is for you, perfect. But there is still another lingering issue. You see, this IPS panel, as good and as accurate as it looks, even with its edge-lit dimming system, isn't the most contrasty out there, and its black levels are just a little bit of a letdown. It was never going to be OLED, but IPS Glow has made an appearance for me, with my review sample having a little bit of trouble in the lower right-hand corner. This was only apparent in very dark scenes, so most gaming scenarios were absolutely fine, but playing Horizon Zero Dawn at night well, to be honest, it just played a whole lot better on my VA panel. And then finally, there is HDR, or High Dynamic Range. And actually, I would like to congratulate LG on their implementation here, as it does hit the right sweet spot in my eyes between a good premium experience, but then not paying stupid money for something like a G-Sync Ultimate panel. It does only have HDR600, so it's not the brightest thing out there, but I would say that Horizon Zero Dawn by day looks mesmerizing. The colour, the brightness, even the added contrast. It will depend on the game that you're playing and its implementation of course, but I'd argue that this is a solid entry level HDR monitor for sure. No real complaints from me, until you try the dark scenes. Limited dimming combined with the IPS black levels do not work as well as you might like. And again, turning to Horizon, at night, this was just an HDR mess. I actually had to turn it off until the sun came up. Then it was great again. And so there you have a little bit of a confusing monitor, because I reckon LG will watch this video and almost be a little bit confused why I love it, but also don't like it that much at the same time. While there is a little bit of a problem, I guess, with the black levels on this thing, it's something I could get used to. But in terms of recommending a monitor to you guys, you really do have to be dead set on 4K resolution for this to make sense. Because remember, LG have an excellent GN850, loads of other brands are available by the way, uh, that have a 1440p high refresh rate screen that are almost half the price of this, are gonna be a whole lot easier to drive. And in terms of the image quality, while they're not quite as good, if you're playing something fast paced like Fortnite, like Apex, it's not that you won't notice, but your brain will be far more worried about what's going on screen rather than trying to pixel peep. So while this is a very impressive display, and it does come highly recommended actually to anyone that does want that 4K experience, if you're a content creator and a gamer, or maybe you just want to watch 4K video while you're playing games, there are so many different use cases for this, and it excels at all of those. 
But if you are, again, a gamery gamer, I think there are better options out there that make more sense and would actually bring the whole cost, if you like, of your PC gaming setup way down while giving a fairly similar experience. Hopefully in the future, LG can deliver a 32 inch version of this monitor that fixes some of those black level issues. But for now, this is very much a monitor for anyone that's after a premium gaming experience, but it's dead set on 4K at 27 inches. If you're interested in current pricing, you can find this product with my Amazon affiliate links listed down below. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the hottest new gear from Acer. If you crave the latest in PC gaming technology, then Acer has you covered with our annual global press conference. There are going to be some pretty special announcements that you simply won't want to miss. So hit that link down below for a reminder, and then get your popcorn on standby. Thank you so much for watching this video though, I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this down in that comment section below. I'm actually really interested to know whether 4K gaming is something a lot of people are sort of aspiring to build their new rigs around and their new setups around, I would love to hear from you. Smash that like button if you've enjoyed it, um, it, would, it would mean the world to me, it really would. Maybe that is a little bit of an exaggeration, but it would certainly make me smile. Don't you want to do that? Get subscribed for more videos just like this, more monitor reviews, PC gaming builds, setups, all of that good stuff. And if you want to see more, you can find them in the end screen. Go on, start watching a whole chain of PC-centric videos. If you want to help the channel, that's how. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one. That was a weird outro, but I'm going to leave it in.